What up folks, welcome back to UltraZilla Toys and I have a massive, massive BBTS Big Bad Toy Store haul to unbox for you. This box is so huge I can't even bring it in my studio which is off right there. It's not far. In the background you see some like shoe stuff and this is like an in-between area of my wife's studio and mine. Um, so, which, she doesn't come down here as much right now, so, <laughs> I got my stuff spread out, you see a lot of, like, other, <laughs> these are, like, some of the big, big boxes I, I need to, like, settle somewhere, um, but this box trumps them all, it's huge, and, uh, it's been building since mid-July, so, uh, which is a long, long time for me. Uh, I usually, I don't know, BBTS is about a month, month and a half sometimes. I don't know if it's been longer than that. Maybe a little bit longer? Um, but this has been the longest um, that I've waited for a BBTS haul. And it was kind of like, there wasn't a lot, you know, over the summer that I got from there. I had canceled a bunch of pre-orders, um, so, I just wanted it to build up, uh, and with their $4 flat rate shipping, you know, there wasn't anything in here that I was pressing that I needed right away. Uh, obviously, as you can see, I've gotten in so much stuff since then, bought so much stuff that, you know, and I've, you know, not even, like, touched the surface of unboxing or reviewing everything, you know, like, I mean, like, not unboxing from, like, the shipping box, but like from their actual product boxes. That's how crazy this is. This is not going to help. This is a lot of stuff now. I'm talking, I, I don't even know, a lot. So let's get in there. Well, you know what? Let me give you a little preview how big this thing is. It is tremendous. There's my knife. Can you see how big that is in my hand? It is, and then it's like super tall. <laughs> it's crazy big, guys. It's crazy big. I think this is the, it's not the longest box because I think when I got the, uh, last summer when I got that the big uh, Toynami Jumbo Voltron, that was bigger. Now this, box on one side has a big you know like slit oh no and I feel boxes there so I don't know how well you know BBTS usually has that great packing material um, it's like the seafoam green bubble wrap but I don't feel it in there and I mean let me show you again uh, not again but let me sh turn the camera around again See that? Can you see that? I don't know. I, I can't see what you're seeing, but there's a huge crack in my box, and uh, hopefully everything is in there. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, it's so big, and it's really, really heavy. So, And there's a lot of various items in here. Um, a lot of sale items. No, I'm going to say nothing like super super like ridiculously exciting but there's a lot of cool items a lot of sale items that i have happened to pick up um and if you see my facebook page you know i've made mention of a few things that i've i've bought there is there is bubble wrap so that's good so it's a lot of stuff i'm not going to be opening anything on camera here um, but I just want to show you everything. Uh, we do have the latest Big Bad Toy Store postcard. So you got Son Goku there. And is that his name? Son Goku? Kid Goku. Akuma vs. Ryu from Street Fighter. Some Game of the Thrones stuff. Some Batman stuff. Some Overlord from Titans Return. You got some Star Wars Black Series stuff here. Uh, open that Maz Kanata that I got over the weekend that I got today <laughs> uh, and uh, it's pretty cool NECA Turtles that's one thing I don't think I'm ever going to get just, I just don't have the room for it uh, and I don't want to pay the money so 
There you go. Big, big honking packing slip. I almost feel like I sh it's two pages, guys. It's two pages. <laughs> I think this is my first two page packing slip from them. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Um, but that's what happens. Again, there's a lot of stuff that's not exciting, like stuff like that has been out for a while. Obviously, this is stuff from July. You know what? I'm going to go with this big, big thing first because um, this is probably the biggest box in here. It's got a bunch of stuff here. And this is the Siege uh, on Cybertron. Siege of Cybertron? Siege on Cybertron set. Um, you know, this is the one with the... Uh, like Jinrai-ish Prime, there we go. What are they called in this one? Magnus Prime, yeah. The Tidal Wave, Metal Hawk, Decepticon Pounce, a little Thunderwing head. So pretty cool. I really just wanted it for Magnus Prime here because I got the God Bomber, the Takara God Bomber, and this was a really cool, easy way to to make a Jinrai, you know, Super Jinrai Prime. Uh, I don't really care about the rest of the guys. I probably will, you know, I'll check out the set, um, but the other guys, I'm not sure. They're going to have to really, really impress me because I don't really know the characters very well. Um, this is going to be interesting. Where to put everything? <laughs> so, yeah. There you go. First item is a big item. Try to set that up so I could put stuff on it. There we go. That might be better. All right. How about a Marvel Legends next? We got uh, Thor from Thor Ragnarok. As you've seen here on the channel, I've reviewed Ares and Hela. Thor makes the only other figure I am getting from that wave. So that's it. I'm not building uh, Hulk here. I'm getting the Diamond Select Hulk when it comes out to match up with this guy. I think they're going to look great together. And I think this one looks pretty cool too, so I'm really glad I got that. All right, so we got some of the cheapy stuff right here to start. Now, I I got the these Ghostbusters. Now, they had like a massive like Ghostbusters sale. Um, they got in all the Mattel stuff and all for cheap. Um, so, well, here's Ray. I'm really excited about these guys. Um, the, the, the classic guys. I've wanted these for a while. I've never seen them. They're like, they were at Walmart exclusive at one point and now they're not. So cool. And I think before that they were like Maddie Collector exclusive or something. So I got both the, the, this team cost me 20 bucks for all four of the girls. And I like this movie, so I don't mind having them. I didn't want to pay full price at all. Uh, and these guys were 10 bucks each. I know they've shown up at five below, but there's a five below and, you know, not super close to here. Not this tolls. There's a lot of tolls in the way and it wouldn't make any sense to pay the tolls when I could have got. And, and, you know, I think the tolls I would have to pay and the gas is going to cost me the same as just paying the extra like few bucks here and definitely getting them as opposed to not getting them, you know, as opposed to going there and not, them not having them. Yes, Peter Venkman. Really, this, this is all I needed to be my representation of the Ghostbusters movie I loved. So I'm trying to get all these Ghostbusters out of here. There's Abby Yates. So I will be reviewing all of these. Uh, man, these these don't look so good. <laughs> uh, yikes! She looks terrible, Aaron. Oh my God. Um, eek. I don't... Can I get to the rest of them? Winston. So far, the, the classic guys look good. So, the girls not faring so so great. As Egon. Egon looks fine, too. And finally, Patty. Actually, Patty looks pretty good. I think that's all of them, right? Yeah. So, there you go. Eight Ghostbusters pretty cheap for all of them you know that's some of the massive sale stuff i got uh so 60 bucks for eight figures i'd say that's okay uh and you know it gives me some more review fodder at some point i'll review 
view them all at some point. <laughs> Okay, so this one's been in here a long, long time, and I've seen this guy in store a million times since it's been in there, but Leader Class Megatron from last night. I think this completes all the Megatrons I'm going to be getting. Uh, I need to start reviewing them now. That would be nice. All right, so some other big guys. I got, you know, Legends Deadpool. I've seen this guy a million times too, but not for this price. This was like... 34 bucks there. And I got the uh, black suited Spider Man. He's a 12 inch Marvel Legends, of course. Um, who is a Target exclusive? But they had him for 40 bucks. So, yeah, I got those two for cheap. Here, I got. Storm Collectibles Street Fighter V Ken. There you go, another Storm Collectibles to add to the massive pile of Storm Collectibles I have. Pretty cool. I'm trying to go a little fast here because I don't know how much stuff is on my camera here. This is something I was looking forward to. NX Edge style Mega Man X. This is one of the recent stuff that came in that I was waiting on. I think this uh, like NX Edge style actually suits Mega Man really well, and it's almost like not like a super deformed figure. So I think that's really rad. All right. Wow, this guy is huge. I didn't realize it. Uh, um, I was able to get one of these uh, SDC ex SDCC exclusive. Uh, Power Rangers Megazords, very cool. So you know, BBTS o you know, always has like some of the exclusives. Usually, uh, most of them, you know, maybe for a tad more. Sometimes for a lot more, but this was not really a lot more. This was like twenty-five bucks. I could deal with that. He's a big guy. Very excited about that. Very. That's a Funko Pop. What do we got? What do we got? Another transfer. Former. Glad this came back into stock because I missed it the first time around. This is the Perfect Effect PC16 Jin, Jin Rai Prime. So there you go. He's both a figure and an upgrade kit. I don't think I'm doing the upgrade kit. Um, I, I think I'm just... I'm just doing, you know, I'm j I'm just in it for the the actual little figure, uh, which is cool. Uh, I got a Black Series Snowtrooper. They had it for less than I I seen it in stores. This was like seventeen ninety nine, so I figured I'd just get it here. Pretty cool. Looks good. I always like the Snowtroopers. Ooh, I got a bunch of little things here. Oh, another. Black Series, I forgot I had this. I think this might have been the first thing that went in there. Oh, is there two more? Two more. Oh, I just realized what the other one is. I'm really excited about it. But Jawa, little guy, you know. This is the uh, 40th anniversary ones. And the cards don't mean anything to me. I, I, I bust them open. So, you know, it's just a matter of just getting the figures. It's fun. Very exciting. This I was really excited about. Finally, R2-D2. Finally. Very, very cool. Um, you know, I, I've, I just recently did the Black Series, the Black Series, the uh, SH Figure Arts R2-D2 review, and uh, I'm really looking forward to checking this guy out as well. Stacking them up against each other, you know? This guy's definitely squatter. It's interesting looking. Definitely different. I'm I'm happy about that. Really happy about that. This guy was so hard to find. Uh, so glad uh, it went back into stock and I was able to get it. What the heck is going on? Here? There's a bunch of little things here. All right, what's this? What the heck? Oh my god. So this is a little import and I definitely got duped on this. I had no idea what I was expecting. It's a little candy toy. Speaking of Megatrons. Uh, let's just open it. Uh, it's like a little red Megatron. 
and it's like from Takara. Yup. <laughs> I don't know. It looks nice. It's like a bright red, I guess kind of Legends class Megatron. I don't know. We'll take a look at that. Oh, and I lost it already. It's gone. But yeah, BBTS guys, come on. They charged me 20 bucks for this little thing. And I got duped. I thought it was something bigger than this. I didn't really do the research. I was like, oh, what is that? That's cool. Good job. All right, so on the power of that absolute Chigokin that I recently uh, reviewed and picked up, I got a couple others that they had in stock and that were cheap. I got Getter 1. Very cool. Oh, oh, oh. And uh, Great Mazinger. So, yeah, these guys are really fun little things. I, I really dig them. Just solid chunks of metal. And, uh, yeah, uh, I will be reviewing them soon because they're easy to review. All right, two, two more things in here. This wasn't as bad as I thought it was. It's a lot of stuff, but it's not, like, super bad. Oh, this is heavy. This is heavy. So, I've been waiting to get this for a long time. This is the Unique Toys... Um, Springer they call him Alan uh, and he's very chunky and you know there's been pretty much like a Springer war going on everybody's doing Springers and this was like the first of the ones that really came out and I think like a lot of like fans just didn't really care for him because he's too chunky yet that's what I really liked about this guy he was like very cartoony and very chunky but I didn't buy them at the time, you know, like I didn't feel like spending whatever it was, 110 bucks or something, maybe 120, something like that. Um, but then uh, BBTS like, put up like listings for like all unique toys that were going like on like clearance, basically. They were coming back in, but at like a r ridiculously reduced rate. And this was 60 bucks. So for 60 bucks, I could not pass up a guy that I really, really wanted. I love Springer. So really glad I just tossed it back in the box uh, to get that. And one last thing, guys. I got myself a new wallet. A brand new, made in the USA, Voltron wallet. Because why not? All right, guys. And that's it. That's everything. Should I open up the Voltron wallet? Because I'm not going to be reviewing the Voltron wallet. There you go. I feel like a kid. But yeah. Sometimes you got to feel like a kid, you know? So pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. Just nothing in there. Just a wallet. A Voltron printed on it. <laughs> That's fine. That's all I need. Uh... That's it. That's all I got. Hope you dug this haul. Like I said, a bunch of sale items, of Ghostbuster stuff, Alan, you know, some other cool stuff. Nothing like super new and exciting. Um, but a few things, I guess, you know, the Mega Man. But there's the big Jinrai set. Ah, there's a bunch of sale items, you know, and a lot of stuff. Again, this was like, uh, you know, a pile of stuff that's been building for a few months now. Um, but I've been like trying to like, I have been getting a lot more imports of stuff that like are like hotter and stuff. So I've been getting them, you know, imported, even if I don't get it right away, like the overall cost I think is a little cheaper sometimes of some of the imports. Uh, but then some other stuff, you know, it's not so. All right, that's it. That's all I got. Please let me know what you'd like to see here uh, reviewed sooner than later. I always say that always feel free to make suggestions. You want to see something, let me know. It definitely helps me decide. As you can see, so much stuff to go through, you know, so it is what it is. All right, guys, so I hope you uh, dug this unboxing, and uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and share, and until next time, peace out, peeps.